Good evening all. Welcome back to Hers and His Adventures in California. Uh, today we're going to be doing up a new fish recipe. Um, I'm actually going to be using uh, bluegill today. Um, you can use any type of fish you want. Uh, works really well with uh, salmon and trout. But we're going to make a teriyaki fish dish. So let's go ahead and uh, go through the ingredients. You're going to need some black pepper. You're going to need some salt. Soy sauce. Some honey. Some apple cider. Some garlic. Some ginseng. And some sesame oil. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and salt both sides of the fish and add some pepper and best just to add whatever amount that you're comfortable with you know if you like a little extra that's fine you like a little less that's fine just sprinkle a decent you know coating of salt on both if you want go ahead and uh, add a little bit to the inside of the fish as well there's some salt and get some pepper flip it to the other side and we'll go ahead and salt the other side and some more pepper okay next what we're going to do is we're going to take a bowl Something big enough for you to be able to put the fish into to marinate them after. And you're going to take soy sauce and you're going to add five tablespoons of soy sauce. One, oops, two and a half. <laughs> after the soy sauce, you want to take some honey and you're going to add four tablespoons of honey. One, okay, next what you're going to do is add three tablespoons of apple cider. One, two, after the apple cider, you're going to take sesame oil and add one teaspoon of sesame oil. Okay, in the next step, we're going to go ahead and add some garlic. Now, if you have fresh garlic, feel free to use fresh garlic. You would use probably about two to four cloves, depending on how much fish you're cooking. Three is a nice average. I don't have any fresh garlic, so we're just going to use minced garlic. Okay, and after that, you want to go ahead and shred up the ginseng. And after you shred just a, a moderate amount of ginseng, you can go ahead and cut a couple little chunks to uh, add to it. Help give it a little extra boost of flavor. Okay, we're almost to the point where we can start cooking. And that's good because I'm hungry. So next, take all the ingredients you added into the bowl and give them a good mix. Um, the honey's going to make it a little bit sticky, so it's not going to be the easiest thing to mix going to go ahead and add the fish into it and then you're going to let it sit and marinate for about 30 to 60 minutes so we're going to go ahead okay next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some cooking oil um, in this case i'm using olive oil and you're going to turn the heat up relatively high get that fully coated on there Okay, and as soon as that warms up, you're going to want to go ahead and put your fish in it. And when you first put your fish in it, you're going to want to cook that for about four minutes, um, give or take. Okay, I think the oil is just about warm here. So we're going to go ahead and add those first ones in.
Okay, since we got one that's really big here, we're gonna go ahead and let that one cook up a little bit before we add the other two in. Okay, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but once the oil is hot, you want to reduce it from a high heat to more of a medium, maybe a little bit lower than a medium, until it's all cooked up. Okay, it's been about four minutes, so we're going to go ahead and flip these. Okay, and on the opposite side, you probably want to cook it for about another three minutes, or until it looks about right. Okay, it's been cooking for about enough time. Now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and take the rest of the marinade that you have and pour it all over them. And you want to let that marinade sit in there until it starts to thicken. Take you about roughly three minutes. And your fish should be done after that. So we'll go ahead and let that cook here. Okay, we're just about done, and as you can see, it's looking really good here. Can't wait to eat. Okay, it is done cooking. So, go ahead and get this on the plate. That is one beast of a bluegill, people. But again, you can use just about any type of fish you want with this recipe. We'll pour the juice on top. Okay, and here's the finished product. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, let's try a bite. So, oh my gosh, that looks good. And look at the meat. Came out, cooked just perfectly. Dip in a little bit of sauce. Oh my god that is so good oh my god and this in the case of this bluegill it still has the bones in it so if you're not doing a total fillet without the bones do be careful about the bones don't eat them but this is really great so um we hope you enjoyed this cooking video um if you do give it a try and you like it Leave us a comment, you know, let us know how it was, was it easy to prepare, was it difficult to prepare, and uh, if you want to see more cooking videos, or even fishing videos, be sure to subscribe to our channel, uh, Hers and His Adventures in California, hit the notification button for upcoming videos, so hope you enjoy, and thanks for joining us tonight. Oh.